What's up gamers, The Red Dragon here, and I am back with a little video game research for you. And this one's pretty interesting and pretty cool too. So, whenever I was growing up, I was always told or I always heard that there were two things that could make you go blind. One was masturbating, and two was playing video games. And I can confirm the first one is a complete lie. Uh, just ask I fly. But the second one I wasn't too sure of because, you know, I've always heard, you know, sitting in front of the computer screen isn't good for your eyesight. So I wanted to do a little research to find out if there was any truth to this saying. And I found some really interesting results. So whenever I was looking for more information, one of the first studies that I found came out of the University of Rochester in 2007. They took 22 students who had normal eyesight and they split them up into two different groups. One group played violent video games that were action-packed like Unreal Tournament and Call of Duty. The other group played The Sims 2, which is, you know, visually, you know, it's, it's got a lot of visual stuff to it, but it's not as visual motor coordination driven or, or however you want to say that. It doesn't involve as much interaction as the action pack games do. And what they were trying to study is if there was any difference in your visual eyesight after playing video games. And they were looking at contrast, your ability to distinguish between different shades of colors. And here's what they found. The volunteers played 50 hours during a nine week test and then they were tested again. The players who played the action pack games saw on average a 43% improvement in their ability to distinguish between shades of gray. And this is really important when it comes to real world environment. Imagine driving down a foggy road late at night that's it's raining, it's wet. You know that it's hard to see that stuff. So your ability to be able to see even the slightest difference in, in colors, that makes a really big difference. And players who were playing action pack games saw a 43% improvement. And these are people with normal eyesight. They already had decent eyesight and now they're seeing an increase. They looked at the players who were playing The Sims though and they didn't see any increase whatsoever. So it wasn't just playing video games. It's not just, you know, sitting down playing Farmville or Tetris. It's playing certain types of video games and we'll talk about that in a little bit later. But they also took it a step further and they, they looked at the players who routinely played these action games over a six month period and those players who played even longer, they saw on average a 58% increase in their abilities. So this was uh, really groundbreaking discoveries because it, it was thought that the visual cortex, of course your brain develops at a very early age. So for instance, feral children, uh, children who are left out in the wild, who don't have any um, you know interaction with people, once they get older or once they reach a certain age, it's almost impossible for them to pick up language or to be able to communicate like, uh, like me and you can. And so they thought that the visual cortex, you know, it fully developed at around the year eight. So for kids who have disabilities, who have problems like lazy eye, you might see small children walking around with a patch on their eye and that's to try to help that bad eye be able to pick up and see. But if you're an adult with lazy eye or you're past the age of eight, there really wasn't much for you that they could do. There's not much that you can do to make those new connections in your brain because they thought the brain had already formed. But this study totally makes them rethink that because these players are seeing an improvement in their visual capability even though they're well beyond the age of their brain being fully developed. So the, the studies, they wanted to go a little bit further with this. They said, okay, well, if we can improve eyesight of normal people, is it possible that we could possibly improve the eyesight of, of people who have disabilities or issues? So they wanted to look at people with lazy eyes or people with cataracts. So what they did was jump forward to 2012 and there's a study coming out of the university in Ontario. And they took men and women who were born with cataracts. They later had surgery, the, the cataracts were removed, but they were never able to see uh, normally 
as, as most people do. They still had problems seeing. They could see light, but they couldn't distinguish, you know, between faces and stuff like that. So they tested this same test. They set them down. They had a group play action-packed video games. And what was insane was that some of these players actually started to see improvement just after 10 hours of playing video games. After 40 hours of playing video games, just about all of them saw improvement in their visual capabilities. And in fact, most of them were able to see two extra lines on an eye chart. And so this is really incredible because it turns out that video games, in fact, are not bad for your eyesight. In fact, they could be used in therapy. And doctors are actually looking at video games now for therapy, especially in children. Uh, but of course, you know, you have the violent video game aspect of it that really worries a lot of people. So they're trying to, to figure out why is it that the action-packed violent video games improved people's eyesight but other games didn't and so they're still trying to to nail that down but one thought is that action-packed violent video games uh, they cause your body maybe to release certain chemicals that may make your brain a little bit more easily to manipulate and develop new connections uh, so it, it may make it a little bit more plastic during that part or, or during that session. So that's one philosophy. But they are working on an action-packed video game now where it, it wouldn't be violent that they could give to kids to see if it could still work and get the same results. But this is really incredible. And I find this really interesting. One, because I've always had terrible eyesight. Like, I've had Coke bottle glasses uh, since I can remember. I, I used to uh, scare little kids. I'd sit behind them and, you know, do this number where... I'd freak them out and make my eyes huge and stuff. Uh, and, but I got to thinking while I was looking over this information, um, because I was thinking back to a few years ago whenever I went to the eye doctor. The last few times I've been to the eye doctor, they've actually told me that my eyes have improved since I was a little kid. And I didn't really ask. I thought maybe it was normal that eyes can improve somewhat. I thought, you know, most of the time they, they get worse over time. And I'm not saying that video games have improved my eyesight, but reading this and knowing that I play a lot of video games and that my eyes have actually improved a little bit slightly over the last few years, you know, maybe it did. And so I think that's really crazy and uh, really interesting to note. So the next time you hear somebody say that video games are bad for your eyes, let them know that no. The studies, the science does not prove that at all. In fact, it turns out that video games may actually improve your eyesight. And you know when you're playing action-packed video games, there's so much on the screen that's happening at one time. You're trying to, to see and distinguish, you know, certain small areas on the screen. So it's thought that, you know, your brain is really active while you're playing these games, especially shooters, because you're trying to defend yourself, you're trying to shoot stuff. So all this sort of stuff is going on and your brain is able to sync that in and it turns out that your brain may actually be forming brand new connections and we may be using parts of our brains that we've never used before. So this is really interesting stuff. As always, if you want to check out these studies that I've sourced, I will leave links in the description box so you can go read those for yourself. So you can kind of bookmark them and save them up to send to somebody in case they try to, you know, tell you you don't know what you're talking about. But if you want to stay up to date on the latest news and information, be sure you subscribe to this channel right here to stay informed. Also, be sure you leave a like and drop me a comment. Let me know, did you know that video games could actually improve your eyesight? Was this surprising news to you? I want to hear from you. Post your comments below. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.